Welcome back to Mama G's Country Garden. You see where I am, right? I'm outdoors. And it is really a beautiful, chilly day. This is what my garden is looking like right now. Not looking like much, right? Not looking like much. It's okay. Guess what I know? I know from... Mother Nature, from God, from the Almighty, that <laughs> spring is on its way. Yep. Soil. It's going to soil. It's not bad. See that? And look at what's coming up here. This is life. Okay. This is life. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. So, I know with all the rain that we've been having, I know that things are happening. Look at here. I got work to do. But who doesn't if you're growing a garden? Who doesn't if you're not a farmer? Who doesn't if you're not growing your own food? Who doesn't? Hey, Tallulah. There's Tallulah under there. She's got her hat on. Yeah. So, um, I'm seeing lots of life out here. And I'm looking forward to coming outside. Yeah, see? Not bad. Looks bad. Like, oh my God, look at that. No, it's like, wow, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. So, let me just say to you, that I'm excited. I'm looking forward to being outdoors. I know there is work to be done. I know that it wouldn't be gardening time if it wasn't that we had to do something. Here, look at that. They look like tulips trying to bust out of there. I didn't set the timetable for this. God did. Everything has its time. And this soil is showing me that um, some a lot of nutrients are still in here. I will add to it. I will add to it. So this says, welcome to my garden. Yep, well, welcome to it. Just the way it looks. Um, so, this thing you see. So, what are we going to talk about today, Mama J? We're going to talk about, so what's next? Yeah, we're going to talk about what's next. We're going to talk about, this is March the 1st, and just what is next? Well, let me see what's in here. In here, okay, have this soil in there, compost, there's still some in there. I can, I will add on top of this, and it's going to be fantastic because there's a lot of water in there. I'm not going to pour that water off. I'm going to add more soil. So, um, that's soil in there. And I'm very happy with these tubs I have. Here's more soil. You can see it. Here's water in it. Because water got in the cracks right here at the top. Let's see. Got in here from the rain and everything. But it's all right. It's good. The moisture is good. I'm going to add soil on top of that. So one of these had compost. And one had um, 
soil. Okay, so here, and this one I had horse manure. And it was only a very little in there. And it's water in there as well. It's okay because I, hmm, I don't have a tub where I was putting cow manure in. But I am going to add in here um, um, cow manure. I am. Hope I won't be breaking any rules of gardening to do that. It's only very little that I'm on in here from last year, summer 2022. I'm going to add, I'm using cow manure to here. So I'm going to add bags in here. Okay? But these are my containers. Piece of refuge bought them for me. I got to clean off the top because this is from the wintry stuff. And they'll take much. Just run the hose over real quick cleanser this all cleans up down here I had potting soil in here and there's still some potty soil in there you see so I have potting soil that I can begin my startups I still have some I got a lot in there hmm whole lot I can see the pearl light all down in there yep okay so, there are my cages. All right, so I'm going back in now. And this is all about, so what's next? What's next? That's Evie. She's ready to come in. I have supplies on the steps. I have stored out. I, can, <laughs> I got little containers. I have... Cups, I need to point them out. Planter, I got borders. There's some more cups. And there's my watering containers. And in this tub right here are many more. In this container, in there are more. Okay, I got there so I'm ready I'm not worried about much of anything is how you should hey Evie Evie are you worried about anything are you looking forward to gardening are you looking forward to making sure the squirrels stay out of here you looking for them are you looking forward to chasing the birds up out of here okay we're not playing with them. Okay? I'm going to see you in the house. Oh, I want to tell you about these containers. I have I have supplies in here. Gloves, and I'm sure some water and stuff in here. I got to empty it out. It came in through the middle. Here are my scissors and gloves. And each of these containers have different things inside of it. But, there's that. And... Got some compost in here, and I'll get more. Um, let's see, give me a minute. Okay, and I have my containers here that are labeled, and I use these all the time: Epsom salt, blood meal, bone meal. Uh, yeah, I put all. Okay, nutrients. Things I need for my garden in here. Okay. All right. I don't have two acres and a mule, but what I do have is certainly, certainly pleases and satisfies and helps my family. And many others. So I'll see you inside. Bear with me. I almost forgot this. I got to mention this huge container right here. 
Okay. It's got water on top. Let me see if I can open it. This is where I have many others my stuff in here. Okay. Yep. That's what I want to not forget. And as you know, I hang. My daughter Ariel built this for me. And my daughter, camera lady, she helps me in the garden. In the garden. She can really do this by herself now. She's really proficient. And my daughter Ariel, she's my builder. She's Ariel the builder, so she makes sure that we have what we need in order to be efficient. And sometimes we, we get things out of order. And she's like, oh, that's not in the right place. And I'm like, oh, that's in the right place for me. All right. Going back in now for real. Okay, so hope you can see me okay. And even if you were up close on me, I can't see you okay. So we're in the dining room. We left from out front and... This video is called What's Next. And, uh, you know, spring is in the air. I'm actually uh, trying my best to keep myself from digging something in the garden. But um, you can see some things have begun to come up already because they know when to come up. Um, so I saw tulips out there. I saw remnants of onion plants trying to get leggy. Um, I saw greenery out there, which somebody else might call weeds. I'm saying it's showing that the soil has life. That's what I'm going to say. Um, I did an inventory out there in the yard while I was there. It's called a yard now because I'm not growing anything for real. I mean, there's some onion remnants out there. Um, I think, um, and there are, there are bulbs in there that come up, the perennials. Um, I know that camera lady left her uh, elephant ears out for the very first time. She covered them really heavy with soil. They're really difficult to get out. We did a whole video on that previously. And you can go back in... Um, my um, list of content and and locate the ones on elephant ears. So um, we have stuff out there, you know, some things that try to act like they want to do something. I saw a few like collard green uh, out there and I'm like, oh, you know, to myself, look at there, look at there. But we're going to clean all that up. And every spring there's cleanup to be done and 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 every fall there's cleanup to be done so um you just always want to do the very best you can in order to give your your garden um the best look you can give it uh you want it looking delectable you want it looking clean you want the garden um to reflect your world so it will be real busy it's going to be dynamite as i uh, heard uh, jj used to say back in i think it was the 60s or 70s something like that but it's going to be dynamite it's going to be dynamite it's going to be explosive with a lot going on in it uh i'm very pleased i can give you an update on myself I've been most recently discharged from um, physical therapy. I feel good. I have 60% motion of my body. Thank you, Lord. And I have um, joined a fitness program, a uh, fitness gym at um, Planet Fitness. And so I'm excited to move forward um, so that I can prepare and, and uh, take care of my own garden. Camera Lady will, of course, continue to help me. Um, and um, Piece of Refuge, Ariel will help me. She does a lot of building, as I told you before. And my grandson, Scott, will help me. And, of course, the four-leg gardeners will help, too. Um, and I hope I get the pleasure of having uh, Chief Mr. Littlefeet 
and Apache Aiden to help Mama Gay in the garden. Okay? So, but whatever kind of help I received, I knew I received help from Almighty God. This is March the 1st. Um, we've got 62 degrees today. Still a little chilly. Okay? The sun is nice. Just a day ago or two, we had sleet, rain, and, and uh, wintry mixed weather. We did. Um, just enough to say, hey, listen, we know we're not in charge of anything is what I always say. So, uh, it still, though, lets you know that, guess what? Spring is around the corner. Okay, it is around the corner. So, hmm. I thought I'd do an inventory. What's next, Mama J? Well, I can tell you what's next. I need to replenish my garden supplies. That is, uh, grab maybe about, I think I'll get about eight, maybe eight to ten bags of, um, cow manure. Okay. I think, I think I'll do that. Um, I will gets yeah, about um, I think I'll get about four maybe ten I think about eight containers that is 20 gallon containers from my local compost um, in my in my area that cost me nothing I think I'll, I'll get that. Uh, my grandson always loves that because he gets to haul it and and uh, also fill my containers. So he always like, oh, Nana, please. Yeah, that's what your job is, use a muscle. So I think I'll get about hmm, six, maybe eight, I don't know, containers of compost that I'll fill myself. For... Um, Potting soil. I already showed you in my container. I probably had about two and a half pounds of um, potting soil in my container. And I know that container holds about 50 pounds of, of material. I know because I had it in there um, last year. Uh, I, I think it's more than I want to say, yeah, about 500. Anyway, about 50 pounds. So don't, don't, don't quote me on that. Of, um, in, in each one of those containers. I think at least that. Okay. And, uh, they were purchased last year as camera, as a uh, piece of refuge was working on organizing Mama J. It was really awesome. Please know that it was worth the investment. It really was. So, um, also, um, uh, organic soil I have in the other two containers. So, so we will, and, and they're different. So, we will fill those all up. So, I'll, I'll buy more and I think for the soil I'll probably get um I want to try Kellogg's I don't know where to find it I think maybe it's at Home Depot I don't think I saw Kellogg's in um Lowe's but I want Kellogg's soil that's what I want to try to get um Pro Mix I really like Pro Mix. I'll buy about four big giant bags of Pro Mix soil and um, add to my beds, add to my containers. I actually have received for Christmas from my grandson Scott a raised bed, a table bed, a table bed that stands like to my waistline, I think. And um, he will assemble that for me. 
and um, we'll fill it with soil. And I've got some ideas of what I might put in it, but I want to move away so much from the uh, bag, from the um, fabric containers. Um, I've been using fabric containers for about five or six years. And I find that on the average, they last about three good seasons. And then I've got to dispose them. I've donated some to other people as well. But the um, I'm, I'm going to decrease in that. And, and for one, only thing I think I'm going to put in those, if I can help it, is things that grow tall. Like... Um, corn if I care to grow some, like um, sugar cane if I care to grow it, like um, uh, what am I thinking, excuse me for a minute, okra, I'm sorry, like okra, and I know I'm going to grow lots of okra, so I just, I just know some things I'm going to do will always be in the containers that I grow tall. Okay, so. Um, I wanna talk about what's next. So what's next? What's next? I have a container before me. Okay, and it's just a regular flat pan, maybe about an inch deep right here um and this is the top to it i could very well use it as a dome I could very well use it as a dome like so for startups or i can uh, decide to just let it be a support for my startup so okay uh, I think, so what's next, Mama J? Well, I'll tell you what's next. I uh, I decided I'm not going to do any startups before. Um, it, I was have mixed feelings about startups. So I think by doing these startups, I will not start my startups until late March, early April. Some people use St. Patrick's Day around March 15th as their date for uh, planting potatoes, for um, planting, um, for doing these startups or anything like that. I'm not using that date this year because I tend to find out that my stuff gets all leggy and all like that and I don't want that I just don't want that but then I find that I have to start it all over again and you will experience that too don't let it deter you as a gardener if you're a first time gardener don't let it deter you it happens okay um sometimes your hands get itchy I gotta get out there and start gardening yeah I'm not gonna have that itch that deep like that this year because I've been busy with my sewing so I'm occupied but um, it doesn't stop my wheels from turning while I'm sewing. So, camera lady got this for Christmas. You can see that. Annie's heirloom seeds. I bet you can guess who gave it to her. Um, and so she's going to get busy. Some of her plants have started to come up in the garden. Her tulips are popping, are peeping her head out. I'm going in here to see what else is in this box. Looks like there's a lot of stuff that I can use for packaging. Yep. But here's actually what you really want to see. This right here. This right here. I hope you can see it. This is Annie's. And by no way am I um, supported by any of these people that I'm talking about in these companies. But I'm just telling you, sharing with you. So, so here is don't tell camera lady that I'm showing you what she has. Okay? Don't tell her. All right. I trust you not to tell her. Okay? All right. So. Um, oh, okay. These are teddy bear sunflower. Right here. 
she'd grown these before. Double flower heads of an intense golden color grace this impressive variety. These unique blooms have the soft, fuzzy look of a pom-pom. Oh, yeah. 25 seeds, possibly at least, in this package. It takes 7 to 10 days to germinate, and the maturity is in 75 to 85 days. This suggests you direct so. so. Let's see. Oh, and these were packed for 2024. So let's see what else we got here. Marigolds Sparky Mix. Mm. So there's about 100 um, seeds. Let me see here. There's about 100 seeds in here. Mm -hmm. Direct so these two. Okay, okay. And this says Pacific Beauty Mix. Calendula, she loves flowers. At least 100 seeds are in here, and it takes 10 to 14 days uh, to germinate. Oh, and they bloom in spring, spring to the fall. Oh, she's going to want to put these in soon. So I'm going to put this right here. I'm using my tray to keep up with things. This says... Partial shade after the last fall, so that can, those can wait. Okay. Oh, this one says you can place in full sun, which is the, the teddy bear sunflowers. You can place in full sun after the last frost or start them indoors four weeks before the last frost. And our last frost is supposed to be around April the 3rd or March the 28th, April the 3rd, somewhere like that. I'm going to keep this in here in case the camera lady wants to start them up. So, let's see, let's see what this is. Glorious Gleam Nasturtium. Well, I don't think we've ever grown nasturtium before. Well, I, I know all about them. Um... Hmm. Okay. Oh, produce edible flowers all summer long. Uh, we're not into eating flowers here yet. 25 seeds in the minimum in this packet, and they bloom time between is spring to fall. Okay. Deep and full, okay, you direct so deep and full sun after the last frost date. Well, that can wait. It's going over there. All right, this one says zinnias, California zinnia giants mix. Huh. 100 seeds approximately in here, germinates in four to six days. Blooming time is late spring to fall. Uh, let's see. Direct sow in full sun after the last frost date. Well, these three can go back in camera lady's gift packet that she got here. And if she wants to, she can get started on the other two that are left in here. Let me get started on that. Ah, uh, these are shallots. Right here. These are shallots. I think I'll put them in. Mm -hmm. Well, it says. Planting time, March. Okay. This says planting time, March, April, or May. 
and I don't know why you use the word flowering time out here, but July or August. So I guess that's when you can harvest them, July or August. But hmm, these are showers. Red sun. I've never grown shallots before specifically grown onions. Shallots in the Allium family. I think, I think, I could may very well plug these in soon. I think I might plug these in soon. Okay. So, Mama J, what else are you talking about? Well, this is my containers. One of them, I have like five of them. Well, I have all my seeds in them. Organizing, this what generally all I'm doing now. My daughter Ariel's always doing with me. I could start up Mazona mustard greens, red mustard. I can start up lettuce now. I can I can I can get kale going and uh, Korean kale. I have something called Korean kale. I hadn't grown it yet. Started it off last uh, fall and um, I don't remember it coming up, but I'm going to try it again. So I have. So I'm just going to say kale. Peas, a lot of people in my area are starting up their peas. Mm -hmm. In zone six and seven, they're starting peas. Um, I haven't made up my mind if I want to grow peas, not yet. I don't know. Who knows? Got so many options, you know? Just never a dull moment in the world of a garden. How about you always want to grow everything? Well, I tried growing everything. I know I'm going to grow some herbs. I have some parsley herbs in here. It doesn't seem like a little bit, but guess what? A little bit makes a lot. And spinach. I have seeds in here for matador spinach. So if I had to get spinach, kale, or different kinds of kale, I'll get these out. Um, here's lettuce, more lettuce, and you have mustard greens, a whole lot. I love doing mustard greens. Some red mustard in here. I have onion seeds in here. And I'll pick them up. And I have red onion seeds in here. Oh. I've never grown parsnips, but I think I'll try it. And I've never eaten parsnips. I think I'll try it. Oh. Radishes in here, really good time for, for planting radishes. And a little bit of parsley in here, I'd already showed you. Why not? I told you about peas. There's some peas in here. Yeah, I ain't made up my mind. There's some snap peas in here. Is a pea a pea that is a pea? Well, they're all. Uh, Russian kale and I think you get the point here is white kohlrabi we fell in love with kohlrabi here 
created. Oh, gotta know I'm going to grow turnips and lots of it. This is purple top turnip. But I have um, some seeds for turnip greens. And I'll locate them in my container. Just one in one of these. Like that. So. Now. That's what I took out here. That's what I took out here. Am I limiting myself to that? No way. Uh, I have peanuts here. Too early for peanuts. You can't put peanuts in. Um, it takes 140 days to maturity and eats up hostile. I, I, I think I do. I grow them in the past two years and I'm very happy with them. But if I grow them again, I haven't made up my mind yet. Um, I won't plant them until I know my temperatures are in like 70 degrees, 75 degrees. Okay, so that would be, could possibly be in May, um, yeah, late May, like that, something like that, but that's, that's it. Um, I, I have, oh, what I got here? Well, beets, could be beets. I can grow beets now. Beets like cold. They're not, they're not fussy. But they like cold. They can handle 60 degrees. Mm -hmm. Can you handle 60 degrees? 60 degrees not all that warm. Okay. This one, this container has... Okra and peppers and things like that in it. Not ready to do this yet. Okay. So I got a little poem for you. Poems for gardeners. I haven't read anything out of that in a while for you. Let me share something with you. It's called The Innocent Spring by Edith Sitwell. In the great gardens after bright spring rain, we find sweet innocence come once again. White periwinkles, little pensioners with Muslim gowns and shy and candid ears. That under St. Blue skies with gold stars sown, hide their sweet innocence by spring winds blown. From Zephyr Libertines that like Richelieu and this sorry, yeah, their gold spangled kisses blue. And lilies of the valley whose buds blonde and tight seem curls of little school children that light. The priest's procession when on some saint day along the country paths they make their way. Forget me not whose eyes of childish blue God stared like heaven speak of love still true. And all the flowers that we call dear hearts who say their prayers like children then depart into the dark amid the dew's bright beams the summer airs like weber waltzes fall round the first rose who flushed with your youth seems like a young princess dressed for her first ball who knows what beauty ripens from dark mold after the sad wind and the winter's cold? But a small wind sighed 
colder than the rose, blooming in desolation. So that's from Poems for Gardeners, A Joyful Bouquet. And it's a compilation of different poems. Uh, that was read, excuse me, from pages eight and nine. You see, um, they, they, they that? I'm sorry. They want to go for a walk. Excuse me, I can handle another one for you. Here, here it comes. This is called The Seed Shop on page 16. Here in a quiet and dusty room they lie, faded as a crumbled stone or sifting sand, shifting sand. Forlorn as ashes, shriveled, scentless, dry, meadows and gardens running through my hand. In this brown husk, a veil of hawthorn dreams, a cedar in this narrow cell is thrust. It will drink deeply of a century's streams. These lilies shall make summer on my dust. Here in their safe and simple house of death, sealed in their shell, a million roses leap. Here I can blow a garden with my breath. And in my hand, a forest lies asleep. That's by Muriel Stewart on page 16. So, this booklet was given to me by one of my nieces, Dion. I love Dion so much. Thank you, Dion. I appreciate my poems book, and I do read it often. But I'm sharing it with my friends today to be an encouragement as we are preparing for gardening time. So... I want to go back to my seeds. I gave you a break. It was, that was a break. Okay. But I have more seeds. So I think um, what I might take out of here, and I'm going to grow a lot. Just want you to know that. But I have corn in here. I have lavender flower. I think I'll grow lavender flower. Just a little bit of that. I might put this in my planter in the front of the house. Lavender, I get out the Lavender flower. I think I'll put that in the front of the house. I have uh, more sunflowers in here. And um, what does that? Oh, this is Korean loofah board. No, I'm not going over here. Um, sugar daddy peas. We did really, really well with sugar daddy, um, with, with, with sugar daddy peas a couple years ago when we grew them. We, we, it, it, we harvested a lot from them. Um, mammoth sunflower. I don't want to grow that this year, but this is it right here. I don't want to grow that. It actually goes as tall as like. Okay, so I got here uh, sunflower seeds, corn, cantaloupe, uh, pumpkins, purple skim pumpkins, corn. I think the purple skim pumpkins. Um, purple. Oh, excuse me. That was purple skin corn. Purple skin corn. So, so we will grow corn. I will grow a lot of corn. I think I'm just going to dedicate myself to um, I think I'm going to dedicate myself to all sweet corn this year. I, I, I don't want to grow Corn. I think we want to stick to sweet corn this year. And I have some. I have the seeds. Yeah, in here. 
I may need to add to it, but there I am. Okay, so what I just did was told you what's next. I'm still telling you what's next. Beats. I love beats. I truly love beats. Let me take that out. And well, I grow a lot of beats. Do some more beats. Herbs in here, collars. Oh yeah, yeah. I know I'm growing a lot of collars. No, I am going to gonna grow a lot of collars. I said I'm gonna need more. And uh, hmm. Chinese cabbage, you better know. Oh, you better know. You better know. And Yeah. Oh, here's broccoli. Here's broccoli. And more broccoli. And got some cauliflower here. Got some broccoli. You can have some cauliflower. Okay. And more cauliflower if you thought I ran out, I didn't. So, what's next, Mama J? I'm trying to tell you what's next. I'm trying to tell you what's next. And I have tobacco seeds too. I have tobacco seeds also. And I'm going to spark them up as well. But you know what? They like warm weather. And I'm going to start them up in mm, early April. Okay? Early April. I don't want to try some. You know, I'll tell you more about tobacco seeds later, but. Tobacco is something I want to try. It allows me to reminisce on my great uncle. My great uncle. He had a farm and he had cotton and he had a lot of things growing, but he also had tobacco on it. And I remember as a little kid growing here, it's my great grandmother's brother, Uncle Bud. And um, my family not only did they dip snuff, but but they also made tobacco that they get all waved in the jaw. Um, not so much smoking. A lot of dipping snuff and tobacco in the jaw. But they also would chew it up. My great grandmom used to chew it up, make like a paste or something out of it. And if you got stung by something, she'd put it on a sting. If you if you if you had a sore real bad and she need to go to a scab, she did put it on there. It's medicinal purposes. Um, with a yucky feeling, made like a sad, Blech. but it worked. We do need to get back to that time. Um, so I will be planting tobacco. All right, so listen, that's what's next in Mama Jay's Country Gardening. And if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. And if you are a subscriber, would you please share that? Share my channel out to your friends and family and coworkers and whoever you know, your neighbors. And encourage um, them to subscribe. And there's a lot of content. I have more than 140 videos out there now. I haven't counted in a while. Probably got a little better than that. But I enjoy making the content. I enjoy sharing my world. I really enjoy making friends. And through my YouTube channel, 
as one of my blessed sons told me, I fell through the YouTube rabbit hole. Whatever that is, I don't know. But it must be good. So if you'll just join me in that rabbit hole, I'd appreciate it. Because there's a lot that's going to be next in Mama Jay's country garden. You don't want to miss it. There's cooking. There's, there's, there's fellowshipping. There is growing, there is eating, there is sharing. All good news. All good news. All right? So God bless you. Hit that uh, bell in the subscribe area so you don't miss any future content. So thank you for hanging out in Mama Gay's Country Gardening while we talked about What's next? I'll tell you what's next. I need to drink a little water. Mm -hmm. God bless you.